And to start off week 12, day 78, uh, doing pest control. Uh, it is the winter weekend for many games, which means double pest control points. So I thought I'd, uh, yeah, AFK a lot and earn superior elite void. Basically, I run in, I deal 5,000 damage at least. This turns green. And, uh, well, I've got a lot of stuff to disassemble, so I just stand over here doing that. And there's the end of the Void Stairs Back. Uh, pretty decent XP from it. And uh, getting these Book of Equilibrium that I can use on Prayer. Okay, uh, back to Pest Control. So earlier I went ahead and spent my Commendation points uh, that I was getting from Pest Control because they max out at a thousand and I had some saved up. Uh, so I went ahead and spent them and I totally screwed up. I forgot that you get a Elite Void Knight top from the uh, the quest I just did, the Void Stairs Back. So now I have a superior Void Knight top and an Elite Void Knight top. So that took absolutely forever, at least it feels like absolutely forever. Um, but there's the superior Void Knight Ranger Helm, superior gloves, superior elite top, superior elite robe. Uh, and I should note that this is day 79, uh, it's now the weekend, Saturday, and uh, yeah, this is the first clip to start today, it, it's happening at like 3 p.m., um, but at least that is now here in the bank. Um, so time to go do some other skilling, uh, do my dailies, etc. Maybe push for 95 Dungeoneering, and then starting the push for prayer this week. Alright, turning in some daily challenges. Uh, one is uh, DG that I extended, 186k, nice. And the other is fishing, which uh, is something. It's decent. And here's a Elite Clue casket. Uh, that's that's alright. The palm tree seed is nice uh, for some farming XP. The onyx bolt tips will be put on uh, runite bolts before too long, and um, that's worth like 100k. Uh, and I'm glad to have the super restores. But. Um, and the monthly reset just happened. I uh, don't know when I'll be doing my monthlies this month, aside from uh, I'll probably go take care of the uh, the oyster pretty soon just to get the casket reward thing. Here's another Elite Clue casket, which is... Uh, eh, I'm gonna re-roll it. And that's horrible. And isn't, isn't 50k the... Yeah, that's the die table, I think. I'm not entirely sure. I think it is, though. Uh, so that's kind of depressing. At least the swamp lizards are kind of worth something. Uh, where did the stuff go? Oh, okay. As in, yeah, it's worth some dexterous components. Rip. Uh, what I was working on and what gave me those two elite clues was a uh, Barrow's Reaper task, which is now taken care of. Uh, eight Reaper points and a Carol's Offhand. Uh, I'm still going to do reaper tasks. I I kind of want the points, uh, but aside from that, I really need to do every single Barrows one I come across, um, because I, I really need the uh, the Mauritania Legs 3. Uh, we brought your stuff back. So uh, I realized I had a lot of Hairlander tar in my bank, uh, saved up from when I was using a Black Salamander, and um, I wanted to see what it disassembles into, and that's simple parts. So uh, I'm about to get a lot of simple parts when I find time to uh, go through and disassemble these. Um, that's just, that's absolutely fantastic. I didn't know that, uh, but that's really nice to know now. Uh, it means that I can start saving on maple logs uh, whenever I get swamp tar drops. Uh, also, I don't know if I showed this earlier. I, pr I probably did. I have uh, 2,800 simple parts now because I made some more divine charges. And I boosted using Banner Boost to make a lot of super anti-fires uh, because if I grab my uh, Grim Gym... Uh, anyway, I have a QBD Reaper task, which I'm going to go try with Mage. Uh, my Augmented Sunspear. And uh, yeah, I, I'll see how this goes. It should be alright. I'm, I'm pretty good at QBD from uh, a lot of practice on the other account. Um, but I think it'll still be kind of sketchy with a tier 78 and uh, nothing like Dragon Bane Bolts. Uh, but Vampirism should help, and uh, I should be able to make it through kills fairly easily. And there we go. No problem. I used uh, this much Monkfish doing it. If I uh, had Shark, it would probably be a lot easier. 
And there's the first Dragon Ken Journal from Sarah Brews and uh, Torstol Seed, which. Alright. Uh, bank that. And I should be able to do an extra kill uh, since I do have a. Um, a. Hey. Come on, Flo. Okay. Uh, cool. So I have a lot more monkfish. Just gonna try again. Yeah, baby. Well, first kill was 338. Second kill, 220. Absolutely. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, jeez. Really? <sighs> Only one more of these drops to go, and then I can finish the Herblore Daily Challenge that I have. And uh, you can see my death task is uh, already down to six left. That means I've killed ten. Uh, and that was my first uh, three kill trip as well. Uh, I got a, a seven seven monkfish kill, then like an eight monkfish kill, and then uh, however many this is, eleven. Uh, yeah. So uh, not bad. So I just wanted to point something uh, really kind of interesting out. I may make a complete different video on this later and uh, post it somewhere. Um, but these Dagonauts here are ones located below the, uh, the lighthouse for... I can't remember that quest. I think it's, like, just lighthouse quest or something. Oh, and there's... okay, there's 91 constitution. Um, but right now I'm using, uh, uh, Alt-1 toolkit. I downloaded it earlier. And uh, I'm tracking my XP per hour. And, um, well, all you need is a Bone Crusher and a split dragon tooth necklace, which is like 80k dungeoneering tokens. You can rock like this, and uh, it's almost 400k XP per hour, split between, um, you know, combat, slayer, and whatnot. So maybe it's like 250,000 magic XP per hour, but that's really good for not really having any requirements. I mean, you could come down here and do this with a god staff and a god cape just fine, and um, really power through those early magic levels. Um, just wanted to throw that tip out there. Uh, yeah, good to know. And a uh, really good place to come for Dagonoff tasks if you don't want to skip them, uh, and you don't feel like doing Dagonoff Kings. So, I've been getting fairly unlucky at Ascension Creatures in the past. I had, uh, six keys up at, like, 640 kill count. Uh, and then I got this task, which was actually, like, right before the Dagonoff task I had one, got, like, one key. And then right after the Dagonoth task, I have one now. And I just got my first Serenic Scale, as well as two Keystones. Uh, so I'm feeling pretty good right now. Like, my my luck is starting to return here, uh, where it never it never existed here. I got lots of troll beams in the past from all of the, uh, uh, the notebook pieces. Um, but yeah, happy to actually be getting some Keystones now. Uh, maybe one day I'll have an Ascension, right? Okay, I can't help it. I just had to make another clip. That was four keys and a scale <laughs> in a single task of 130. And keep in mind, I had no scales and six of these from four or five tasks beforehand. Uh, it feels so good to actually have some now, though. So, I uh, just rolled over to half an hour, and I was working on uh, Ithil Hour. Uh, so I'm going to go blow through some money right now. Uh, but my new task, after the Ascension Creatures, is Greater Demons. I'm going to use the entire thing up at Krill, uh, so you'll probably see a few drop clips uh, coming up. It's going to be probably over two hours of um, killing him, but I worked out that it's going to make me pass 90 Slayer, and uh, probably 93, nearly 94 Mage. Uh, and 90 Slayer is a big one, because that's Dark Beasts. Yeah, I'm really excited for Dark Beasts. Uh, it's going to be fantastic ranged XP, uh, some decent Alks, and so much rare drop table. So you can see here my kill count is up to uh, about 50. And uh, my first drop from Krill so far has been an Effigy. Yeah. Feeling a little salty right now. Alright, this clip's a double loot special. Uh, this is a hard clue. I uh, just finished. Going to re-roll it, because that doesn't look too great. And that's even worse. Uh, and the casket, elite. Uh, nice! That's new. Armored Chaps. And I can always use these super restores and prayers. 
and anti-fires, and uh, okay, some more components. So I just siphoned my Sun Spear. Uh, I didn't realize that I didn't unlock equipment over level 10 yet. Uh, so I had a level 10 Sun Spear with like 72,000 equipment experience, uh, which would have been nearly level 12. Uh, so yeah, very saddened by that, but um, oh well, you know, have to get to level 60 invention uh, before I can actually uh, siph or, uh, siphon level 12s. There we go. Finally finished the subjugation set. Oh my gosh. Uh, you can see it took like the entirety of this this thing. I've been like a hundred kills dry pretty much. Only got another Godsword Shard and two effigies in uh, this trip of almost 50 kill count so far. <laughs> um, oh man. And you can see I changed it to day 80. Uh, it's the start of day 80, but that's simply because, well, it's 6 a.m. and I stayed up all night. Alright, here's another Elite Clue Casket, and uh, these are your rewards from a hard that I had just done. And that's terrible. Uh, Lantidime scenes, I guess that's okay. And mahogany planks or some, some construction, but... Eh. And there's the end of that Reaper task uh, for QBD. And let's see, there's the third Dragonkin journal. Nice, 50 Lantidimes. I uh, can always use those. Um, we got a uh, Addy Ore drop earlier. And a few coin drops, which is which is nice. Oh, and I do want to note that to uh, tomorrow, not much is going to happen, day 81. Uh, it's my birthday, I'm turning 20, and uh, I've got plans with my girlfriend for most of the day. Um, so I'll eventually come back and get some gains, you know, do my dailies and whatnot, but uh, probably not much going to happen. And uh, then through, uh, what is that, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, last three days of the week, I'm just going to be uh, grinding on spiritual mages. Every single time it's half an hour, I go spin golds, and then off half an hour I'm going to go earn gold and uh, hopefully I'll get there before too long. I also came over here to claim my sixth age circuit. Um, I think that is the last reward uh, from Walgothic well, Sleeps. So I was hoping I hadn't used the pale lamp yet but I have already. Um, and yeah I, I'm wondering what the reclaim cost is on this. I'm not actually sure. I'm gonna go look that up. Uh, but hopefully it's not too much compared to the Asylum Surgeon's Ring. Oh, apparently it actually has no reclaim cost, uh, which is fantastic. Like, I had, I don't know, one death from QBD the other day, and it was really expensive, right? Because I uh, had an Asylum Surgeon's Ring on, and then all of my uh, subjugation gear it came out to like 600k gold, and that's that's like 60,000 prayer XP. I, I was a little, uh, a little sad. Um, but this is going to have zero reclaim cost, so that's going to save me a, a lot of money on deaths where I'm not uh, comfortable doing a boss or something like that. Who doesn't like casket openings? Eh, I don't when they look like this. So, first clip of the day on day 81. Um, it's like an hour before reset, so it's been most of the day. Uh, I'm going to make a lot of augmenters. I have a lot of enhancing components saved up, and um, got a lot of. Uh, I need a lot of powerful components, so I'm gonna get a lot of powerful components, make some augmenters. And, uh, get myself another Sun Spear. It's already level 10, so I figured I'd go ahead and disassemble it. And, um, yeah, I get the XP here. Uh, cool. It's a huge XP gain. Uh, up to level 50, which means level 50 in all skills. Uh, I got some more stuff to research. Wow. Uh, yeah, I gotta get this charge drain reduction, definitely. Uh, and explosive components, which means I can make better gizmos now, I think. Um... Yeah, this will be some good uh, XP here, and I just want to go ahead and augment most of my uh, hand cannons that I have remaining. Uh, my first trip last night, for about an hour, got me 17,000 uh, XP, which means it's a little over two hours to finish a hand cannon. And then, um, yeah, I've got five more hand cannons to augment and run through, and I'll run through all of those, then I'll go back to using my Sun Spear. Uh, so I'll go ahead and put these into the hand cannon, and yeah. Then I'm going to go and do a lot of summoning, burn through uh, yeah, however much bird meat I have here, and I can go buy some more if I want some more powerful components. I'm uh, just going to turn in a summoning challenge I've had sitting around for a little while. Let's see, uh, 20k summoning, that's pretty good uh, for free. And let's see what's in here, uh, a single tortoise shell. Alright, I guess I'll get uh, 
<laughs> I'll get one more um, war tortoise, even though I have a hundred and something. Wow, that's a that's a really good drop. I got a serenic scale from these spiritual mages. Well, my vampirism aura is about to run out. I got a clue scroll to go run, a lot of air battle staves to make, and then elk, and it's time for some invention gains. It, oh, I missed. Right there, 400, or almost, yeah, almost 500k. Uh, some more explosive components. There we go. Let's see, now uh, 53. Uh, didn't unlock anything, but now I have a lot more inspiration to go unlock some of the stuff that uh, I couldn't manage to do previously. Uh, it's time to go do that. Uh, put these in a new augmented hand cannon, and then uh, maybe it'll be half an hour. Uh, so I can go use some prayer and then come back. Oh, and almost 500 KC. Uh, I went through a bunyip pouch and then almost all of my vampirism aura back to back. Uh, so that's, that's pretty good. I'm getting 300 kills an hour or so. Alright, another hard clue opening. And another hard clue casket. And re-roll. One day it'll be a die. Alright, turning in a magic log daily challenge. That's uh, some alright wood cutting XP. And I get back half of what I put in. No problem. I also do want to point out that it's been like seven hours since the last Heffen, and I'm just so disappointed right now. I've uh I've stocked up on let's see, uh fifteen cleansing crystals, and I have six point six mil on me. Uh, to burn through. I just kind of want to AFK for an hour and, and keep watching my Netflix. Making a clip to show off the weekly statue explosion. I think I can do it right now. Let's see. Yeah, okay. There we go. I have no idea how many weeks it's been for this. I think it's like nine or ten. Uh, something like that. Um, but just a way to pass the time between half an hour's uh, finding ways to uh, to efficiently use time. I'm, I'm still going to be pushing for prayer this week, but I'm not going to be upset if I don't hit 95. Uh, while I'm here on half an hour, I wanted to make a uh, quick correction. Um, in the past, I said that uh, doing uh, cleansing crystals here and earning GP at Spiritual Mages is like the most efficient prayer XP uh, per hour. Um, it's not the most efficient, but it is the most efficient for me right now. Um, I forgot that cleansing crystals take about two minutes to do, and the uh, gold I earn per hour at Spiritual Mages is not like two to two and a half mil, it's a little bit less than that. Uh, but it's still like 100k per hour effectively uh, throughout the entire time, uh, so yeah, I mean it's it's the most efficient for me right now. Also, because I haven't made a clip for today, it's day 82. Yeah, <laughs> uh, so yeah, that was the first clip for day 82. Um, man, I spent like uh, seven or eight hours last night waiting for a half an hour to pop up, and none did. Um, so I got like really just disappointed. I lost track of time. It was like 3 a.m., and then suddenly another half an hour pops up. And, um, well, you know, I thought I fixed my sleep schedule, but I guess that's not going to happen. Uh, the game wouldn't let me. Uh, so I had to, you know, stay up from till like 4 a.m. Then I passed out, got up, and uh, then back to the grindstone. All right, and there's a big level, uh, 90 ranged, coming in. Um, going to go to finish up the last like 25 minutes of this hour at Heaven. Uh, it was a half an hour, but uh, I knew I was about to hit 90 ranged, and. Um, yeah, I wanted to keep uh, grinding out gold, because I didn't have enough money to, to do the full hour. Uh, so I'm going to go do that, and then come right back here, because I didn't use my vampirism yet. And there we go, another serenic scale from these spiritual mages. Uh, it's number three to the collection. And here is yet another level ten hand cannon. Uh, I need to alk some stuff in my inventory first uh, to make room for the augmentations. Um, and here is the disassemble, 500k XP, boom. Love that. It's only two levels now, though. Uh, they're starting to slow down quite a bit. Uh, but I unlocked a lot of materials to go, uh, uh, go discover. Yeah, dis discover with the inspiration that I have, so I've got 6k now. Um, 
So that'll be a lot of good XP once I get the uh, opportunity to go. And uh, I'm also going to take this one. This is uh, my crackling. Yes. I'm going to disassemble this. Uh, because now that I have explosive components researched, I can get a Crackling 3, uh, Ultimatum 3. And another hard clue gasket for fun. Meh. So, currently working on the uh, Fremnik Province tasks, I came to do the kill a Mithril Dragon. I got chewed bones on the first kill. I don't know if that's meant to happen on the first kill every single time. Uh, or if it's like, you'll get them if you don't have them in your bank or something. And I'm pretty sure it's RNG, it's just straight like a... I don't know, like 1 in 50 drop or something. That's pretty lucky. It's like uh, doing two tasks at once. And as I'm doing the Fremenic, uh hard tasks, or everything up to the Fremenic hard tasks, uh, there we go, there's the first um, lunar spell unlocked. Uh, teleport to South Falador, which is like, yeah, not useful at all. You can just get a Clan Vexilium. Um, that should have been... Achievement. Eh? Oh yeah, it just didn't pop up or something. Um, yeah, so that's taken care of. And there's the hard Fremnic tasks complete. I got the uh, Sea Boots 3 and Antique Lamp. Uh, it's just gonna go on Herb Lore. As always, ten, 5, 10, 15? Yeah, that's right. So pretty good XP. And uh, I now have a full set of spined armor. I'm going to see if I have uh, room in my player-owned house to store it, because bank space. First clip of today, day 83, uh, doing my uh, oyster monthly. Uh, this was the reward from it, which is just junk. Uh, and already did an hour at Spiritual Mages, which earned me like, uh, well, 1850k or so here, and then uh, these extra 36 battle stabs to make an elk. Uh, which is surprisingly good crafting XP, too. And did another hard clue, got a Court Summons. And there's the end of Blood Runs Deep. I uh, got the Belmung, which I don't uh, need, so I'm just going to destroy it. And I don't want this, or this, uh, or this. Don't need that anymore. Uh, and where's Brunt? Brunt, the chief, there we go. Going to get... Uh, let's see, is it Ask About the War? Oh, there we go. More skills and prayer. And then do this two more times. Ask About the War. More skills, prayer. And... Nope. Uh, uh, wrong button. And there's 90 prayer down. Uh, only gotta get two more levels. Well, I just did the Curse of Zeros mini quest. Uh, and I'm claiming a XP lamp. Uh, it's also needed for museum kudos. And so that I can get the uh, the ability from Slisk to... Uh, uh, what's it called? Not have to use the Ring of Visibility, basically. You can see into the... Shadow Realm, or something like that. Uh, but I need to wear this ghostly outfit, and then go to uh, Artie or something like that, and do the General Shadow first as well, which is another mini-quest. And just got the 50,000 XP from the Holy Sithara. And right here is a pretty big one. Summoning Challenge, rerolled from a smithing. Uh, 20k summoning, which is nice, but... That's 80 summoning, which is decent. That's also total level 2200. Yeah? Pretty good. Only got a few hundred left to go. Well, <laughs> only, right, only a few hundred left to go. And here's another hard clue casket. Uh, I don't have the plate skirt trimmed, but I'm gonna reroll it. Meh. And yet another hard clue casket. Wow. <laughs> that is just, like, a shocking level of bad. Oh my gosh. Uh, I think the U-Compos can disassemble for lucky components. Yeah, fortunate. Nice. So that's something. But rip. 
yet another hard clue that's number 57 and it's fortunate components yeah finishing up making some of the uh, battle staffs from the uh, spiritual mages they drop quite a bit of just plain battle staffs noted um, and you can see here I've got like 700 air orbs left over uh, even after making these battle staffs uh, which is going to really come in handy once I start getting battle staff drops, like if I get a rare drop table or uh, from a Raxor or something like that. Uh, I can just attach them on for some real quick crafting XP and then alk them for some pretty great gold. Um, which, that's like almost 7 mil banked right there, like 6.5 mil worth of orbs. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, uh, that's really something. Here in Lumbridge Castle, making big XP gain. Uh, no, I'm just I'm just spinning flax. Um, doing a fletching daily for you shield bows, and then going to uh, string some of my uh, maple shield bows. Uh, I made a mistake in the past in one of the past videos, saying that uh, it didn't really matter which uh, you make for shield bow or short bow, or that one was better than the other. Uh, they're exactly the same, aside from like fletching XP, but in terms of invention, they're exactly the same, except uh, one gives... I um, can't remember which component. Shield bows give strong components and dexterous, and the other gives, uh, I believe, per precise components and dexterous, and those precise components are used for siphons, while strong components are used for things like uh, weapon gizmo shells. Um, so depending on which of those you need, like right now I need uh, strong components to make more gizmo shells uh, when I finally get myself scavenging. Uh, so I made myself some uh, rings of slang and then disassembled them for a lot of precious components. Gonna make some, uh, try to get scavenging three. Um, I'm going, to, I need strong components, so I'm going to string some shield bows and then disassemble those. Uh, so I just wanted to clarify in case anyone is really following me for invention advice. They shouldn't. I'm in no way a pro at this skill. I just, like, I pick up tips here and there and I go with it. Also, how sad is this Iron Man life? I have, like, 6k flax to string. It's faster to string flax here in Lumbridge than it is to get bow strings from any other source in the game for me. Uh, even, like, rushing through temple trucking, it's, it's faster to just string here. <laughs> uh... Turning in a U shield bow daily challenge, if I can click it. Uh, nice, 60k fletching, that's like half a level still. Uh, that's quite a bit. So I still have a bit of spiritual mages left to do uh, on my prayer grind. Uh, that's going to be the last clip for today, I'm about to go to sleep. But uh, I'm up to like 6k soul runes, which is just... Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, considering there aren't that many sources of them, this is going to really come in handy uh, for crystallizing Grinwalls. And then all the remaining Grinwall tickets I have will just be used uh, to actually collect the resources and make the extreme ranging pots that I need with them. Um, but man, 6,000 soul runes. Oh, that's quite a bit. It's, uh, it's worth almost 5 mil. Okay, I lied. This is actually the last clip for tonight. I'm uh, pressing F to pay respects. Uh, 100k prayer. And, uh, yeah, I think that's the end of my rewards here. Making my first clip of day 84, and I'm taking my augmented hand cannon, which, uh, I now have looting. Um, 500k invention XP. Nice. Uh, going to re-augment this one. And then pop in these weapon gizmos. Uh, so you can see this is probably what I'm going to be working with for a while. Unless I get a, uh, like, Crackling 3, uh, Precise 2 with Scavenging 2 and Looting 2. Um, yep, and working on a Clue Scroll. Yet another Hard Clue Casket. And... Nothing good there. Uh, here on a Cash Boost Hour, on a 2k plus world, which makes you think people would come to Cash, nobody here. I'm the only person. So whenever I crest, I can just... Yeah, it's gonna be like a five minute cache or something, but I'm only active for two and a half of it. Turning in a shark daily challenge. Uh, or cooking, that is. Uh, so 66k cooking. Got a level and some rock tails back, which is nice. Uh, more raw rock tails here than I burnt <laughs> in terms of shark, so that's good. Uh, net positive on food. 
Oh wow, I got a, I got a whip. That's pretty cool. That's uh, isn't that like a t one in twenty five hundred or something like that? I don't know. It's a stupidly rare drop rate for what it is. But uh, let's see, Slayer creature kills, uh, Abyssal demons five hundred and forty. Um, wow, and I also have the whip vine to go with it. Uh, so I guess I can turn that into a, a vine whip, but you know, there's no real use for it, honestly. Did a Firewatch Slayer task and it dropped some Torstol, so there's the end of that uh, daily challenge. Uh, oh, it actually took the Torstol, which that's not good, but um, okay, six Catentine. I guess that's something. Kinda wanted that Torstol, but oh well. So my new daily was a U Shield Bow challenge, uh, finishing that up. Nice uh, 60,000 XP again, and lots of magic logs in return. I do want to note that um, if any of these clips are uh, frame droppy, uh, I go to my graphic settings here and I turn on Adaptive VSync. Uh, it makes my GPU have like 1% usage even when recording. Um, if I turn it off, there's absolutely no frame lag but my GPU will run up to like 100% usage and it'll crank up to like 70, uh, 70 Celsius. Or on adaptive, the fans don't even run because it stays below 60. So I kind of go back and forth to, to save on energy and to save on strain on my GPU, uh, but sometimes I forget to turn it off and some of the clips will be laggy. I do want to throw that out there though in case anyone's noticing the, uh, the slight uh, frame drops. And here is 82 Agility, which marks the uh, first time the EXP goes up here at uh, the Heffen course. It should go up from like 52 to 65 or something like that. Uh, 66, wow, that's pretty good. Uh, and the complete course is going to be worth a bit more as well. Um, also means more prayer XP per hour here, which is uh, it's something. I didn't have enough money to keep using the cleansing crystals for the entire hour, so I just came in. Uh, did agility, and it's fairly efficient. Oh wow, doing a uh, Celestial Dragons task, the first one for my account, and uh, that's kill number 130-something. Uh, got a Draconic Visage. Nice. I also just passed uh, 90 million total XP, which, um, yeah, that's quite a lot of gains for the week. And here's another Elite Clue, which is horrible. Let's re-roll that. Uh, that's a little bit better. I got some Prayer Pots instead, and I kept the Mahogany Planks. And that's interesting, a Court Summons drop from Steel Dragons. Uh, never seen that before. Well, I really do want to stay up a bit later. Um, but I have stuff to do tomorrow, I have to get up early in the morning. Uh, so I'm not going to manage to finish Soul Split this week. However, it's uh, like a half an hour of agility uh, and the light within away from uh, 92 for Soul Split. So, uh, it's something I'm going to be pushing towards. I'll probably get it tomorrow, no problem. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. That's the end of week 12 of my Iron Man Road to Comp. Making good progress. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. See you next week.